The quaint little cater store, The Midnight Bites, was a haven for college students looking to satisfy their midnight cravings. As a broke college student myself, I eagerly took up the night shift job, hoping it would help me meet my ends. Little did I know that this seemingly ordinary job would lead me down a terrifying path filled with darkness and malevolence. The first night started with a sense of normalcy. The store was adorned with colorful menus and tantalizing food displays. The aroma of freshly baked goods filled the air, and the soft, dim lighting cast a warm glow over the place. The store owner, Mr. Davis, was a kind and cheerful man, and he welcomed me with open arms. As the days turned into weeks, I became familiar with the store's regular customers, the night owls and the students pulling all-nighters. I also got to know my co-worker, Lisa, a bubbly and friendly girl who had been working at the store for years. We quickly formed a close bond, making the night shift more bearable. The first few nights were uneventful. I would arrive at the store just as the sun was setting, exchanging pleasantries with the day shift workers as they handed over the keys. They always left with a cheerful goodbye, blissfully unaware of the unease that settled in as soon as I locked the door behind them, I made every effort to establish a sense of normalcy in those early moments of the night. I would turn on the lights and go about my duties, tidying up the store, restocking shelves, and preparing for the next day. The hum of the refrigerators and the clattering of dishes became familiar sounds, grounding me amidst the pervasive silence outside, but as the hours wore on and the darkness deepened, something strange began to creep in. It started almost imperceptibly, with subtle shifts in the air. I would feel a chill run down my spine, my skin prickling with inexplicable dread. It was as if a malevolent presence had taken up residence in the corners of the store, lurking just beyond my field of vision. One night, as I was shelving cans in the back storeroom, I caught a glimpse of something moving in the corner of my eye. I turned, but there was nothing there. The weight of unease intensified, but I tried to dismiss it as my imagination running wild. It had to be a trick of the dim lighting, right? But the strange occurrences persisted. Objects would shift on their own, as if moved by an invisible hand. The scent of decay would waft through the air, sickeningly sweet and sinister. And sometimes, in the deepest hour of the night, I would hear whispers, unintelligible yet unmistakably malicious, the more I tried to convince myself that it was all in my head, the more real it became. The line between reality and nightmare blurred as the darkness grew thicker, suffocating me. It was as if the store itself had become a sentient entity, thriving on my fear and vulnerability. As the weeks passed, my colleagues noticed a change in me. I became hollow-eyed and irritable, unable to escape the clutches of my haunted workplace even during my days off. Sleep eluded me, and the sinister presence followed me home, haunting my dreams and poisoning my waking moments, determined to confront whatever malevolent force lingered within the store, I delved into its history. I scoured through old newspaper articles and spoke to longtime residents of the neighborhood. To my horror, I discovered that the place was built on an ancient burial ground, desecrated by greed and forgotten by time, armed with this knowledge, a wave of determination washed over me. I refused to be a prisoner to the dark forces that held sway over Medley's cater store. I prepared a ritual, seeking to cleanse the place and send the malevolence back to where it belonged, that final night, as the clock struck midnight, I stood amidst flickering candles, my heart pounding with equal parts fear and resolve. I chanted ancient words, calling upon the spirits to aid me in my quest. The air grew heavy and electric, crackling with an otherworldly energy. Suddenly, a searing pain shot through me, as if a thousand icy fingers gripped my soul. The darkness converged, swirling around me, and I could hear the unearthly screams of the tormented souls trapped within the store's walls, as I fought to maintain my grip on reality, I cast one final glance at the evil I had unwittingly unleashed. The ghostly figures writhed and gnashed their teeth, their eyes glowing with malevolence. But amidst the chaos, a single figure stood calm and resolute. It was the spirit of a young girl, her eyes filled with an ageless wisdom. In that moment, the truth struck me like a lightning bolt. The evil that plagued Medley's cater store was not an outside force but a reflection of the darkness within myself. 
The pain, the anger, the loneliness, I had inadvertently summoned the malevolence through my own insecurities, with newfound clarity, I completed the ritual, banishing the twisted spirits and purging the store of its haunting energy. As the last remnants of the darkness dissipated, a sense of peace settled over Medley's cater store, as if it had been released from an eternal torment. In the aftermath, I quit my job at the store, knowing that I needed to confront the darkness within myself before I could move forward.